Here's some help with writing methods in Java. We have to complete the method here named compute area rectangle. The method header has already been written, just like they typically do on the AP exam. Uh, the method is public. Um, this doesn't really affect the problem here, whether it's static or not. The name of its compute area rectangle that's been specified, and we're even told that it has two integer parameters, len and wid. And uh, notice that they're both ints. Okay, uh, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to return the area of a rectangle. Well, the area of a rectangle is going to be a whole number if the length and the width are whole numbers. So the return type is or has already been specified as an int. And of course, you already know that the length of a uh, that the area of a rectangle is length times width. So this must work for any two pair of numbers that's passed in as parameters. It's not up to us to decide, but let's just put in two sample numbers that perhaps could be passed to this method from another method. So let's pretend it's a 3 and 4 here, and the area is going to be 12, but you would not return a 12 specifically. Okay, so how does this work? Well, you could do this in one line of code. return. Uh, len times width. This is a perfectly appropriate answer, and I'm ready to move on to the next uh, exercise. However, some some uh, students they prefer using local variables to store the final total here. Um, they might create a variable called area and set e equal to len times width. And then they would uh, aptly return area. Oh, this is close to being uh, correct. Uh, this variable area doesn't exist because it was never declared. So this, this student would have to declare area and it would be most fitting to be uh, an integer. So this is a declaration statement. For good style, I should set it equal to zero. And then one microsecond later, the computer puts three times four in into uh, area. So area is now 12, and this 12 gets returned back up to the method that called it. So that's another uh, great answer. And you would get no extra credit, but you would not lose points for using this extra local variable named area. Here are some wrong answers. Do not uh, um, system out print. That is a common mistake, and they never ask you to do that on the AP exam. You would not system out print len times width. That's just wrong. Uh, you're not reading the, the specs. You're not reading the, the post condition up here. It never said to display anything. It said to return it. So this should not be uh, uh, used as an answer system out print. Another common wrong uh, answer here uh, that I see is some people, they try to reuse the variable or one of the parameters in len and width as a local variable. So they might do something like this. Len equals len times width. And then they uh, return len. This would work, but it's horrible style. Do not reuse one of these parameters for a different purpose in the body of this method. Len is uh, being set equal to 12. And even though len has no other use later on in this method and can be overwritten, with the, it started with a, we're pretending three, and it's being overwritten with a 12 here um, at the moment of this assignment statement, uh, but this is bad style. Okay, I'm going to leave that answer there uh, to try to catch anybody who, who's not listening to this oral uh, uh, explanation. That's the wrong answer. Moving on to number two. Um, now we have to write out the header of this method. So the header um, is simply the name of the method, which is specified in my problem. 
the name of the method needs to be followed by a set of parentheses. And uh, methods are always public, and that's a lowercase p for you VB, uh, former VB students. And um, you may be told that this is a static method. It doesn't really matter for the purposes of this problem. And we do have to identify what is the return type? What's going to be returned from this method? We need a curly brace. I'm going to leave this uh, a question mark for now. And uh, do we have any parameters? Well, let's read the problem. Yes, there's an int parameter named the num items. So that's uh, uh, easy to fill in. We're told that the data type is int, so you need to put int there. Uh, the name of it's specified as num items. And there's a double parameter named a cost per item. So after a comma, lowercase double and a cost per item. Again, this method needs to be reusable, so it could work for any pair of parameters that are passed in here, perhaps three, and maybe the cost is $1.99. So those are just sample numbers. Um, you do not hardwire this algorithm for those specific numbers. If you do, uh, well, that we have to implement the method now. We must compute and return the cost of buying num items at cost per item. Well, that's simple math. Anybody who goes to a store with their own money uh, knows that you just take the number of items that you bought times the cost per item. And um, what do you do with this? Do you store it in a variable? You could, but that variable would then have to be declared and for good style set equal to zero. And then don't forget to return what you worked so hard to, um, to compute. This is one perfectly good answer. Or we could just uh, do this all in one line of code. And we could just say return um, num items times cost per item. Some students like to put parentheses around this, this product. That's fine, but it's unnecessary because the computer will do the multiplication before it does the return. And uh, what is being returned here? Well, is it going to be an int, a double, a string, or a Boolean true-false value? Or is nothing going to be returned, in which case we'd have to put the word void up here? Uh, well, if you have a whole number multiplied with a uh, double, the answer will most likely be a double. So um, that's our last step here in this exercise to put double here. Good luck on the rest of this worksheet. We see uh, we have some uh, uh, tricky logic here where you're buying an item with a price, but then you must also take into account a discount rate of like say 40% off and um, good luck with that one and the area of a trapezoid use Google here to look up what the formula for the area of the trapezoid is you have to come up with the names of your parameters if there are any parameters which I am telling you there are and uh, uh, the rest of this uh, method good luck with that